What would it be like if you were transported back in time and you could see and feel how people lived a hundred years ago? That's what you can do in Past Present, a video game which invites middle schoolers to learn about social history from the point of view of everyday people who lived in the past. My name is Anna Caruso, and this is my town, Eureka Falls. It's not a big city, but not a small town either. What you need to know is that lots of people who live here work at the Boylston Mill. I work in the weaving room, running a loom machine that weaves cotton into cloth that makes all kinds of sheets and clothes. I don't know what your life is like, but believe me, my... You get to play Anna Caruso, an 18-year-old Italian immigrant who works in the northern mill town of Eureka Falls. No, 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 Nancy 12. Nancy 12. No, but this is two. Now, no, do, do cotton dock. Ah! Get cotton dock. Cotton dock. Cotton dock. Cotton dock. They're all popping. No, that's cotton dock. That's, that's, that's cotton dock. Oh, my God. <laughs> You begin to understand some of Anna's challenges in life by meeting her family. Oh, I wish your papa was still alive. Why did he have to go to work in that snowstorm? Figuring out how to get the things you need to live. Stop right here. Vegetables just like we picked them in the old country. And talking to people in town. What? Do I look like a school teacher? So did you find out what I was talking about? If we don't have it, you don't need it. Come take You get to understand how hard an immigrant's life often was. It is to earn two dollars, and that's only 32 cents. There's intrigue brewing at the mill. We need to keep a special eye on socialist agitators. They're stirring up the Management workers. and labor are spoiling for a fight. Those capitalist cutthroats are up to their own... And you need to strategize with other students to figure out what decisions Anna will have to make. No, I think it's uh, the mill. treating the workers fairly because it's not enough pay. I forgot. Yeah, but the, the, at the beginning, before we went into the mill the last time, he said they were in yeah. kind of a financial trouble. Past present lets you sort out what's going on and helps you to navigate the conflicting social forces which define how history is made and interpreted. The mill treats workers fairly. No, it doesn't. The mill does not treat workers. No, dude, he's giving us a picnic. How is that not fairly? <laughs> Learn that every decision you make has its consequences. We can't bring home the money for the rent because we didn't get paid. We didn't get paid enough. And that historical truth is often relative. Idiot people who are, like, getting 140 44 bucks while some people are getting nine dollars? That's so stupid. Who's getting hundred? No, that's so stupid. Who's getting hundred? The mill owners. How will it turn out? Oh, I'm starting to have my opinions. What will Anna decide to do? This is getting to be more complicated than I thought. Past Present provides middle schoolers with a unique opportunity to step into a time machine and to explore history from the inside out. What are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna give it to him. What'll become of us? I'm a Dale. I'm a Dale. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Dale. I like Fran. End of the game. For now. That was fun. That was, that was fun. It was the best game ever. I know. I've never played. And it gives them a fresh way to analyze who we are and where we're going as Americans. Yeah, it's like one side, it's like two opinions. They both could be That's right, but yours? one's taking one no, side me. and the other's taking the yeah. other side. It's like, so how do you believe one over the other? You can't. You can't really. You I mean, can't really. <laughs> you have to kind of experience yourself. Yeah. So does it give you a sense of actually being back there? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. All right, so we should take out the old stuff. End of the game. For now. Dun, 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 dun. Uh.